on part three of this series, we're going to do a few more examples and we're going to prove the memorialist property of exponential random variable. Let's continue with example three. In a factory, for some reason, a defect happens every two hours. According to this, find the time that passes until the first defect occurs after 8 a.m. A. Find the probability of at least one hour non-stop working without defect. And B. Find the probability of defect on maximum four hours. So for this question, we're going to set up like this. Let x be the time that passes until the first defect happens. So the function f of x, we know that probability density function is lambda e to the negative lambda x. Here our expectation e of x is equal to 1 over lambda. And that is going to be 2 hours. Because expectation, which is mu, is equal to 1 over lambda. So lambda equals to 1 over mu. So from here, we can find the expected value as 2 hours. So the first defect that we are expecting average is 2 hours. Let's go to part A. So at least one hour no defect is happening. That means probability of x is greater than 1 because we want at least one hour no defect. So that is the integration from 1 to infinity of the probability density function. And our probability density function is this. We know that lambda value is 1 half. And e to the negative 1 half times x dx. So if you integrate this, antiderivative of e to the negative 1 half x is we bring 2 to the front, negative 2, multiply by 1 half and keep e to the negative 1 half x as it is. So we find, and if you plug in upper and lower boundary, you're going to find e to the negative 1 half. And e to the negative infinity is 0. And e to the negative 1 half, if you plug in your calculator, you're going to get 0 0.606. So that's the 60.6% is the probability that we will have no defect at least one hour. Let's go to part B. On part B, we are calculating the probability of defect on maximum four hours. That means probability of x is less than or equal to four, which is f of four. So that is the integration from zero to four of the probability density function, which is one half e to the negative one half x dx. Again, the antiderivative will be negative e to the negative one half x and upper boundary is four, lower boundary is zero. You're going to end up with one minus e to the negative two and your calculator will calculate this as 0 0.865. That is 86.5%. So non-stop maximum we can work for hours is the this, prob this percentage. So this is not affected from the previous behavior of the defect. That is called memorialist property. Let's study memorialist property. 
So what does being memorialist means? It means that the previous behavior is not adding any probability, any percentage to the next. So you receive a call and the next call, the time that passes between calls, two calls are not affected from each other. Let's prove this mathematically. Probability that x is greater than or equal to s plus t, known that x is greater than s, is equal to probability that x is greater than t. So we're going to try to prove this. So, since they are independent, s and t, we can rewrite probability of x is greater than s plus t as probability of x is greater than s times probability that x is greater than t. Because they are independent, their product will be equal to that. Okay. So now we know that probability that x is greater than s plus t is by the density function e to the negative lambda times s plus t. And we also know that probability that x is greater than s is e to the negative lambda s and probability that x is greater than t is e to the negative lambda t. Now we can plug in these values into our function. Probability that x is greater than s plus t, known that x is greater than s, is equal to probability that s plus t x is greater than x plus t and x is greater than s over probability of x is greater than s t. It, it is like this. If I have s here and if I have t here, s and t, so their union will be together again. So probability that x is greater than s plus t over probability x is greater than s. And if you plug in the density functions above, we were given. So probability e to the negative lambda s plus t over e to the negative lambda s. So we have the same base, so we can merge it and we can distribute lambda into parentheses. So it's going to be negative lambda s, negative lambda t, and minus, minus lambda s. So here you can cancel out negative lambda s and positive lambda s. So you're gonna end up with e to the negative lambda t. So what was e to the negative lambda t? That was probability that x is greater than t. So that's going to be equal to that. All right, let's do another example. A person's car is breaking down average every eight months. What's the probability of having first breakdown 10 months after the last breakdown? Since this car didn't have any breakdown six months after the last breakdown, what's the probability of having breakdown on extra four months period? So the solution is, we know that average expected breakdown is every eight months. We know that mu is equal to one over lambda or lambda equals to one over mu. So our lambda is here one eighth. 
now our probability density function rewritten like 1 8th e to the negative 1 8th x which is lambda e to the negative lambda x if x is greater than 0 and 0 elsewhere okay now let's solve part a on part a we are going to find the probability of having the first breakdown 10 months after the last one so that means that probability of x is less than 10 we have derived this on part 1 it's going to be 1 minus e to the negative lambda x which is going to be 1 minus e to the our lambda is 1 eighth and our x is 10 so which is going to be 1 minus e to the negative 5 fourth and the calculator will tell you it's going to be 0 0.713 so 71.3%. On part B, we're going to use the memorialist property. So we're calculating the pro probability that x is greater than 6 plus 4. So we don't have any breakdown 6 months and we would like to know extra 4 months what's going to be the probability known that x is greater than 6 that is going to be equal to probability that x is greater than 6 times x is greater than 4 by the property of independency since they are independent so their product okay so probability that x is greater than little x is equal to e to the negative lambda x. We're going to use this property. And if we use that property, our probability that x is greater than 6 will be equal to e to the negative 6 over 8 which is negative 1 eighth times 6 and that is going to be 0 0.472 and probability that x is greater than 4 will be equal to e to the negative 1 eighth times 4 which is going to be 0 0.607 okay so now we know that probability that x is greater than 6 plus 4 known that x is greater than 6 is equal to probability that x is greater than 6 times probability that x is greater than 4 and if you plug in the values we found and if we multiply we obtain 0 0.286 so if you have realized that this is the same as probability that x is greater than 10 actually which is e to the negative lambda times x which is negative 10 over 8 which is 0 0.286 so this can be explained by the memorialist property because that six months without defect is not affecting the next four months period all right let's go to another question example five the lifetime t in years of an electronic component is a continuous random variable with a probability density function given by f of t is equal to e to the negative t if t is greater than or equal to zero here lambda or mu is one find the lifetime l which a typical component is 50 percent certain to exceed 
if 10 components are sold to a manufacturer, find the probability that at least one of them will have a lifetime less than L years. Our solution is, we require that probability of T is greater than L is 0 0.5 because we want it to be 50% certain to exceed. So probability that T is greater than L is given by the function from L to infinity by definition of the probability density function which is given by e to the negative t dt and antiderivative of e to the negative t is negative e to the negative t and you need to plug in the upper boundary and lower boundary e to the negative infinity will be 0 and 0 minus negative e to the negative t will give us positive e to the negative l. So if we plug in upper and lower boundary, we get e to the negative l. And we want e to the negative l, which is probability that t is greater than l, which is e to the negative l, we want it be equal to 0 0.5, which is 50%. And if we solve for l here, we get the answer. So we're going to use the logarithmic properties. We can ln both sides and we can bring negative L to the front. So we're going to have negative L ln of E is equal to ln of 0 0.5. ln of E is 1 so negative L is equal to ln of 0 0.5. Here you need to plug this value in your calculator and you're going to get negative 0 0.69314. And if you multiply both sides by a negative sign, you get L as 0 0.6934. So that means this much year, this much years is the lifetime of a component. Assuming that Lifetime is lifetime of a piece is independent. So probability that at least one component has a lifetime less than 0 0.69 years is equal to, so at least one component has a lifetime let's round up 0 0.69 years will be equal to let's use the complement 1 minus probability of no component has lifetime less than 0 0.69 years so that will be 1 minus 0 0.5 to the 10 because we have 10 items sold we have 10 items sold so if you plug these values in your calculator you're going to get 0 0.99902 so 99.9% okay so let's go to question number six assuming that the lifetime t in hours of a particular piece of a spaceship can be modeled by an exponential distribution with lambda equals to 0 0.00027 find the proportion of piece which will give at least 10,000 hours service if the piece is redesigned so that its lifetime may be modeled by an exponential distribution with lambda equals to 0 0.00032 would you expect more pieces or fewer pieces to give at least 10,000 hours service so 
for this question our solution will be starting by the density function so our probability the density function f of t will be equal to lambda e to the negative lambda t by definition and lambda is given as 0 0.00027 e to the negative 0 0.00027 t so now probability that t is greater than 10,000 hours will be equal to by definition we're going to integrate the area under the curve which is from 10,000 to infinity so we're going to integrate the density function f of t dt so here our integral will be 10,000 to infinity 0.00027 e to the lambda t dt so it will be if you plug in upper and lower limits here and e to the negative infinity will be zero and 10,000 times this number will be 2.7 negative e to the 2.7 so your calculator if you plug in will give you 0 0.0672 so that means 6.7 percent of the components will give service more than 10,000 hours and after remodeling our lambda will be this number so we need to plug it that in our probability the density function so our new probability density function will be 0.0032 e to the negative same number times t and if we integrate this number from 10,000 to infinity we can find the percentage of the components which will give more than 10,000 hour service and we can compare if the, if fever or more now let's integrate this so again that will be e to the negative infinity as our upper boundary will give us zero and lower boundary is 10,000 times this number will give us 2.3 so e to the negative 3.2 will give us in the calculator 0 0.0407 so approximately 4% 4.07% so 4.07% of the components will give more than 10,000 hours service so we expect fever if you compare with 6.7% you get fever so fever components will give service more than 10,000 hours Okay, that's it for part 3 of this series. We did a few examples. We have proved the memorialist property. Alright, thank you for watching.